Hey guys, it's Monday during monsoon season, so we're having all these tropical rains coming through and it's, I love being inside and all cozy. And I thought maybe we should do some, you know, organizing on Mondays or something, you know, like a Monday motivation to get organized. I have a lot of organizing projects to do and specifically micro organizing. So I thought I would do that with you guys. And you know when it's raining or stormy out, it's just nice and cozy to be inside. I love organizing during that time of year. We're in the plant room right now. So I've got a desk over here and I want to try to get to that today. And then also a cupboard in my like bathroom area. It's like the little hallway to my bathroom. All right, so here's the cupboards I was talking about. I've got to get after these and I'm actually working on our bedroom as a whole, but I'm just breaking it up into little areas. All right, so I'm just gonna pull back here and give you guys an overview of what we're gonna be tackling here. So I've got a lot of skincare products on the top shelf. So the cabinet could definitely be worse, but it's just one of those small areas that you could pack a lot of stuff into. You know, it's just one of those hot spots for clutter. And then the second cabinet down here, I also want to get to that. One of the best parts about micro organization is just breaking it up into small enough bites where you're easily able to get it done without feeling overwhelmed. Okay, so well, I'm going to start on the top shelf here with all the skincare. The easiest thing to clear out first and make room up here is my, my tub of empties. So these are all product empties. And there's some products in here I would definitely recommend. I love them and I would repurchase again. Uh, Numi Stockholm, it's a Birch Tech Hybrid Serum and it's kind of like an all-in-one multi-purpose serum. I love this. It's made in small batches in Sweden. It helps with hyperpigmentation. Um, anyway, I, as you can see, I have gone through two bottles of this. I don't know if that is coming in focus or not, but that's a really good overnight serum. Would recommend it makes your skin feel really smooth after using it for a little while too and then one of my all-time favorite exfoliators is derma e microdermabrasion scrub i love that i repurchase that all the time so i've got i've been using that for so many years now probably about 10 years now if i if i had to take a guess but i repurchase that all the time okay here's one i would not get again oh gosh it's leaking too this is a tea tree detox mask and it I think it might have gotten damaged in shipping or something because it was just like super watery. I also have some makeup products in here too, so it's all kind of beauty and skincare. This is Pretty Naked. It's a blush from 100% Pure. I love their blushes, would recommend. I've got some eyeshadow empties also from 100% Pure, so I finished up three of those. Let's see, a couple of Pacifica lip balms. Another Pacifica mascara. I use their mascaras all the time. They are my favorite. Oh, a Pixie. Yeah, that's down to the last nub, a pixie eyeliner. Um, so that's it for my empties. Okay, so this whole tub is getting tossed or recycled. So I'm gonna move all my skincare products that I reach for on a regular basis. I'm gonna move all of those to one side because I know I'm keeping those for sure. And then I'll make room to be able to get to everything else. So the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub, my Bentonite Ancient Healing Clay, the Shea Body Oil from Out of Africa in Vanilla. Oh my gosh, that is one of my favorite body products. So I use that as like a, like a lotion basically, but it just takes the tiniest amount and you just spread it out all over your body and it smells so good. It moisturizes your skin. It's amazing, it's all natural and it uses shea butter oil. So it's just like an easier way to get shea butter onto your skin and it does absorb really nicely into your skin too if you just give it a few minutes. And then this tub here is one of my favorite products. This is raw African shea butter. It's perfect for your lips, any dry areas you have. Um, it's really, really rich though, so it just takes the tiniest bit to get moisturized with that and it's really thick but it's whipped up so it's soft and easy to work with. Shea butter, like a lot of shea butters, it's naturally very hard but once they whip it, um, it makes it just softer and uh, fluffier. I've got some acne products here which I'm actually going to pass those on to someone else and I'm going to use this as my tub of stuff I'm letting go of. I've got some lip balms here I'm, and those are brand new. I'm actually going to let go of those because I already have a bunch of lip balms and so I just want to, those are just products I want to pass on to someone else. So I'm going to put the skincare I'm going to be letting go of in here. And then the vegan collagen set here, I'm gonna let go of that also because I know that I don't use them. So I've got a pore balancing primer and a setting mist. I'm gonna let go of both of those. Okay, I've got one more product I'm gonna to add to the tub here. This is a Pore Warrior Booster Serum. It's for oily skin and minimizing shine. Okay, that is not a product I'm gonna use. I used to have oily skin. I was able to solve that through changing my diet. All right, let me go ahead and move this stuff out. 
Okay, I'm gonna grab my cleansing gel that's in my shower right now, just so you guys can see um, my complete skincare collection now. Hang on one sec. Okay, since we cleared out so much, I wanted to show you guys what I actually use and what I really love. I love the Shikai Moisturizing Shower Gel in vanilla. That is one that I've used for years. Michael turned me on to that one. I absolutely love it. And then Pacifica Seafoam Complete Face Wash. I've used that one for years. Love it. A Cure Brightening Cleansing Gel. That one has a very lemony kind of scent to it. This is going back at my sink and these two are going back in my shower. This is Pacifica nail polish and they were so kind to send me some nail polishes from uh, one of their collections. Um, unfortunately, the colors just didn't really speak to me and I only share stuff that I really love with you guys. It's kind of kind of my rule like I don't want to put on all this nail polish just to do swatches if I'm not even like really that into it you know the colors so I kind of um, I just decided I'm just gonna give those away to other people I'm also gonna grab this and see what is in here because I don't know oh wow okay I <laughs> this is some does this happen to you guys too like you're organizing and you're like oh hey that's where that went uh, I haven't seen that for a long time I totally forgot that I had put my other Maui Gym sunglasses. I have two pairs of sunglasses and I was wondering where the other pair went. So there they are. Okay. Well, I'm probably going to take that out of there though because I don't know. I'll find a different place. Maybe that'll go in my closet or something. And then this box has my favorite perfume ever, like ever made. <laughs> Bootsy oils, Bootsy Luxe perfumes. And these are made out in Maui. That's how I originally found them was I went into her shop one day and I immediately, as soon as I tried it, I fell in love with it and wanted to like bathe in it. But this is her original Bootsy oil. And then she came out with Tropique and Colada. I bounce back and forth between these two the most. Like that's what I go through the fastest, but they're all delicious. They all smell amazing and tropical and like tropical desserts. They're so, so good. I'll post a link to Bootsy's website below. She's got a new website and she's got everything on there. And I think if I can find a code for you guys, if you ever want to try this out, I will post that code in my description box below. But yeah, definitely keeping all my Bootsy oils. Those are not going anywhere. I'm just going to the box right back here while we go through all the nail polish. So let me take out all the top coats and base coats and get those out first of all because I know that those all get used. London Town Lacquer is one of my go-to nail polish companies. I love them. Let me grab these Zoya nail polishes. And we'll start with those first. I think all of these are still good. With nail polish you kind of got to check it out because some of it it does go bad, you know, it starts gooing up on you if you don't use it up. And then this is one of my new favorites, this Mineral Fusion Sea Salt. I bought this at a local health food store. It kind of matches my shirt today. It's kind of like a nude, uh, like a nude blush. Okay, I'm gonna take all of these out of the box. Okay, I just counted all the nail polish. So I've got 29 London Town Lacquer, and then 30 with Mineral Fusion, and 34 nail polish colors total with Zoya. Okay, I'm gonna sort these out as quickly as I can. The ones I'm keeping, I'm gonna push over onto this side, and ones I'm not, I'm gonna push over to the other side. Waterloo Sunset, oh, I love that one. Okay, that one I'm gonna put over there. Oh my gosh, there, there's so many that are pretty, but I don't wear them all, so I can't, I can't keep them all if I know I don't wear them. Okay, I don't know if that one's good still. Invisible Crown, I love that one. Plie. Oh my gosh, they make so many of the colors that I like. They make like the really light pastels and the nudes and the blush nudes. Uncovered, oh my gosh, that's another one I love. Sugar Plum, oh okay, yeah, that one was one that I definitely needed to let go because it's a metallic and it's kind of like cool tone or gray tone. Okay, I just finished sorting all the nail polish. So these have already dried up and they're not able to be revived. So I'm gonna be tossing these. And then these I'm letting go of. So I got three, six, 9, 12, 15, 18. So that's 18 nail polishes. And plus the six that I just had to throw out. There's a lot of really gorgeous colors, but I know the ones that I actually wear on a regular basis. And so that's the only ones that I really want to keep. All right, there's all the nail polish colors I'm keeping, plus base coats, top coats over here. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten nail polish colors, so that's perfect. I love all the really feminine colors. Honeymoon, Waterloo Sunset. Uh, invisible crown. Is this plie or uncovered? I'm not sure. That's uncovered. Plie. And then is that bespoke? Yeah, bespoke. And then sandstone duchess. And then Zoya purity and mineral fusion sea salt. I'm going to keep them in the same box I've been using because this box has been good for storage. All right, so that's as organized as I can get my nail polish collection for now. 
close that up. And I also put my nail polish remover in here, my Zoya Remove Plus. And I have my London Town Lacquer Whipped Cloud Hand Cream. I have a backup of that too. I love this stuff. It is so good. In fact, I kind of want to put some on right now. I love the scent of this too. It smells really tropical like coconuts. Okay, now on to the third shelf. I've got two bags in here and I don't need either of those. I now have a couple of my Bootsy oils in here and one of my refills there. Oh, the Pacifica perfume. Okay, Indian coconut nectar. That's a longtime favorite too. And then I've got my Japanese shower cloths. Pacifica comes up with some of the best scents. I love this hairspray. It's the Big Waves Soft Hold and Volume hairspray. And it's coconut, sea salt, and vanilla. It smells so good. That is definitely a keeper. And Bootsy also makes candles with her fragrances. This is the Tropique. It smells so good. I also have my crystal nail files. I still use these all the time. They're awesome. I think I'm gonna leave this the same, except I'm gonna take out this and put it on the top shelf as part of my skincare. I am going to move this off to one side though because I have my skin brush, my dry brush by Yerba Prima. I'm going to put that right here. And then I've got some back stock of stuff that we get at Costco in large packs like extra toothbrush heads, floss, q-tips. I'm just going to take this whole thing out and try to organize that. And I'm also wiping down all the shelves as we go. So I've got all my dental hygiene stuff in here. So teeth whitening, oh and products like uh, the powder whitening, eco dent, extra bright. I like that too. Um, so yeah, everything is organized as best I could in there and I wiped down the, the tub. I'm gonna leave this shelf alone so that has like my hair tools. And then the bottom shelf is stuff that's just too tall to go on the other shelves. So I've got like my backup shower gel, um, my dry shampoo, and oh, I've got my, my Q-tips down there now. And this is like a little file like a little roller file. I don't know where to put my lint roller, so it's just, it's gonna live in there for now. Okay, now from the bottom up, I'll show you guys everything that's in the cupboards now on each shelf. So we've got all the dental stuff, and then up here, backup, skin brush, uh, shower, shower supplies, hairspray, perfume, nail polish, hand lotion, nail polish remover, and then skincare up at the top. I love that the top shelf is so empty now. That feels much better. It feels so much lighter. It just feels really good to get stuff cleared out that you know you're not using. And sometimes you don't know how much you have that you're not using, you know, until it kind of like builds up in there. All right, guys, so here's everything that came out of the cupboard. Aside from uh, this box I already got rid of. So that was um, the bad nail polish and then the empties that I had too. But everything that's good still is out here that I can give away. Yeah, tons of beautiful nail polish that someone else can use. The Pacifica nail polish. And all the skincare. Oh, and a little bit of beauty products there. Some lip stuff. I think that was a good amount to clear out of the cupboard. All right, guys, we're back in the plant room and I do have a little more micro organizing to do in my desk drawer over here. So I did get a new desk for this room. Most of the updates and plant styling is gonna be in a separate video, but I just wanted to kind of show you how I'm switching a couple of things around in this video. Um, so this area here, I had originally set up to be kind of like a vanity. I wanted this whole room to be a space where I could actually spend time in here on a regular basis. So every morning I get ready in here, but instead of having this be the vanity spot because I had my makeup in the drawers and everything I decided to change it and get another desk and slip it in here because I had this little kind of cubby in between my two shelves which uh, everything's looking a little bit crazy right now because I'm doing um, I'm moving things around and doing the plant styling and just starting to get things organized in here so I originally had my makeup in those drawers and now I have it over here on top of the desk and I want to get that organized into this drawer and I don't have any drawer organizers or anything special I didn't want to go out and purchase anything new to do any of the organizing I just wanted to use things that I already had so this is all of my makeup collection and if you guys have been following me for a while then you may already know this but I did a project a long time ago um, as I was trying to minimize my makeup collection. So when I stopped purchasing makeup just for videos, I realized that I didn't have that desire to continuously go out and, re and purchase
most makeup just for myself. Like I, I realized that I was mostly doing it for YouTube content. I found that if left to my own devices, I tend to fall into a routine and I like to be a creature of habit. Like I really enjoy just reaching for the same products, like my same favorite products every day. Um, just because I know I feel good wearing them, I know I enjoy the products, and I don't really feel the need or the desire to continuously uh, go after new products. You know, although it's fun testing out products, and so that's kind of what I found that I like to I like to do now is just have a very small curated collection. And I've been keeping this inventory since I think 2012 or 2013. And each year I would count out, like I have all my different categories for the makeup, you know, lipstick, lip gloss, lip liner, um, bronzer, blush, highlighter, you know. Um, so I just had the whole list of all the different types of products and I would list how many I had in each category. So I have 2016 here. This was the last inventory that I did, 2016 and 2019 was the comparison. So I guess I took a couple years off <laughs> in between there. So it was more like a fun game to kind of, you know, keep track. Although it's not like a, it's not like a huge deal or anything, um, especially now because my collection really doesn't change too much year to year. It's, it's pretty similar, but um, you know, I would be interested in actually adding up all the products as a total. So maybe I'll add up all of 2019 and then add up all of right now and then see where I'm at. Let's see, are you guys able to see my list here? So this is 2016 and then 2019 in case you are curious. Um, there's a pottery class that goes on down the road from us and this tray was just given to me by one of the people there and I absolutely loved it. I love the rough edge of it and you know it's very raw and natural and I really like that look. So what I'm going to do is use this in my desk to or in my drawer to um, organize some of the makeup onto and that way it's not like sliding all over the place so it'll just help corral a few few pieces in there and I'm just taking these little these little sticky um, gummies to place on the bottom, these little bumpers, just so it doesn't uh, want to slide around in the drawer. And I have a whole pack of these like little furniture felt pads and command strips. Um, but yeah, these little gummies, the clear ones, I really like those a lot for using on my glass shelves. Like whenever I have propagation jars or something, I stick those to the bottom of the jars or any glass vases or anything. That way when I set them on my glass shelves, um, they don't scratch up the, the shelves at all. All right, so on this tray, I think I'm gonna add some of my favorite products from my favorite brand, which is Mineral Fusion. I buy this at my local health food store. We're here in Tucson, so normally I get this at Natural Grocers. So this is Mineral Fusion Luster. It's a bronzer and highlight duo. It's really pretty. Um, this one is Mineral Fusion Stunning Eyeshadow Trio. I love that trio. And then I've got one of my longtime favorites. I've used this for so many years. This is Mineral Fusion Concealer Duo in Neutral. And then I have a couple of eyeliners also from Mineral Fusion. This is Cole, the black one, and then Touch, the brown one. And then Mineral Fusion uh, Eye Primer, Smoothing Eye Primer. I think mine got hot though because, and kind of like melted because it's really watery. I'm not sure what happened to it, but um, yeah, I'll have to get another one and, and see what's going on with that. One of my favorite new products from Mineral Fusion is this lip gloss in Bondi. Oh my gosh, this smells like vanilla. It's silky smooth on the lips. It feels amazing. It's definitely my, my new go-to lip gloss. I love this. And the color is kind of a richer nude. So it's not like a super pale washed out nude. I think it's much more flattering on a lot more skin tones as far as nudes go but it's it's gorgeous it just has more color to it more pigment um, but it's still just a really really like beautiful kind of like caramel nude definitely a bronze goddess kind of color I need to sharpen that lip liner I've got a color pop lip liner in BFF that's like a really classic nude color and it's kind of like a, a peachy nude and then this um, milk makeup lipstick this is in skills and it is a nude lipstick gorgeous nude color and then brows, I'll go and put this on there too. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo, still using that. 100% Pure is another one of my favorite beauty brands. It's clean, they use fruit pigments. This one is in Golden Peach. It's their long last concealer. And those are all products that I reach for pretty often. So I'll just keep that right in the front here. And then for eye palettes, I have Pacifica. Pacifica is another one of my favorite brands too. I love their bronzers and highlighters, um, their blush. They have some really nice, sets that are, or, you know, palettes for face and eyes. 
that are pretty inexpensive and they're all vegan and cruelty free. Um, so I'm gonna put these two, this is Tiger's Eye, and then there are neutrals, oh, pink nudes palette. So both of those I'm gonna put on this side. And then this is a magical eyeshadows palette. I've been using this one a lot, it's kind of my go-to lately. So I've, I've hit pan on at least, yeah, a couple of them there. So I'm still working my way through it, but I love that one and the golds in here, the neutrals and the warm tones are really pretty in this one. Zuzu Luxe is another great brand and also Gabriel Cosmetics, it's um, like sister companies, but owned by the same parent company. Um, they're also vegan and cruelty-free products and they're excellent, their eyeshadows are gorgeous. I think both of those I'm gonna slip right in here right behind the Pacifica one. And then these two Pacifica face palettes, this one has the blush, bronzer, and a couple of highlights. This is the Alighten palette, and what do they call this? Radiance powders. And then the bronzer duo, this one is Sun Dreams bronzer duo. I've got a couple products from Cover FX. This is our blush in Warm Honey blush duo, and then their bronzer duo and this is in, what is, oh, I can't remember the name of this, Sunkissed Bronze. Oh, we got a couple more 100% pure products. Their bronzer in Cocoa Glow, and then the rose gold highlighter from 100% pure. And this is actually an old name though. This is their Gym Deluminizer, but they changed the name. It used to be called Rose Gold, but now it's something else. My Duo Lash Adhesive and Ardell Lashes, Ardell 110. Those are longtime favorite lashes. For mascara, I've got Stellar Gaze in Supernova. Love that, been using that one for years too. Like a lot of these products are long time favorites. Um, Indian, Co wait, no, why am I trying to say Indian coconut nectar? That's a, that's a perfume, a fragrance from Pacifica. This is Color Quench Lip Tint in Coconut Nectar. And favorite lip balm of all time, cost about $3.99 at Whole Foods. It's Ladybug Jane in Vanilla Cupcake. They do have different fragrances or different flavors, um, but that one is my go-to favorite. Love it. It actually heals the lips. It's very uh, emollient, very healing, um, and very moisturizing to the lips. So it's not one of those lip balms where you put it on and it's like waxy or it makes you feel like it dries your lips out even worse. Um, no, this definitely really works well. Um, and it's only $3.99. And then I've got uh, a really old NYX um, pencil sharpener. So I'm gonna put that in there. I almost forgot what that thing was called. And then 100% Pure's Rose Gold Palette. I've had this palette for a little while, but I just find myself not reaching for it after all. I thought the colors were really pretty and they are, but I think on my skin tone, um, they don't go as well as I'd hoped, but I bet they would be gorgeous on somebody else. So I'm gonna pass that on to somebody else who will really love it. Okay, I decided I am gonna do a quick inventory add up just really fast with you guys, just for fun. Okay, so makeup inventory for 20, 21 and I'll just make a note of in 2019 I had 46 items in my collection okay so for lipstick I had one lip gloss one lip liner one uh, lip balm and lip tint two bronzer let's see that is a bronzer duo because it has a highlight in there but I'm just going to count that as a bronzer so one two and three um, blush, I have one blush left, like way back. I used to have, I think like the highest amount of blushes I had was like 50 something, like 59 blushes or something. That was back in the days when I was purchasing MAC and doing a lot of uh, makeup videos, but crazy. Now I've got one blush. Okay, um, highlighters, I have one. Some of these kind of overlap, but I just have to push them into one category or the other. So this, these two Pacifica palettes, they've got bronzer, blush, and highlight in there. I'm just gonna uh, consider those face palettes because I have a category for face palettes. So that is two face palettes. Oh, eyeshadow palettes. So I've got three from Pacifica and then a Zuzu Luxe. So that's four eyeshadow palettes. Oh wait, no, five. Okay, hold on. Five, because I have this little, um, this little trio from Mineral Fusion. I've got two eyeliners, mascara, I've got one mascara, eye primer, one brows, one brow product, concealer, um, two, because I've got under eye concealer from 100% Pure and then Mineral Fusion, which I use for face. Uh, so that's two. Powder, I don't have any powders. And foundation, no foundation. And lashes, I've got one um, pack of lashes. So I'm just gonna call that one because I don't, I don't ever count those as like individuals. Okay, now I'll just add all these up and I'll see what the difference is compared to 46 items a couple of years ago in 2019. So I added everything up in my makeup collection and there are 26 items total. 
compared to 46 items back in 2019. So exactly 20 items less. Okay, so that's everything for my makeup collection, but you guys, I gotta tell you, I'm loving the direction the plant room is going. I love having this little nook in here. And it's it's like, I couldn't, I, I just I just love it. That's I'm, I have no words. <laughs> I absolutely love walking into this plant room every morning. And there are some other updates that I will show you in the plant room update. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of micro organizing that I wanted to kind of get done first before those next videos come along. Um, so I will go ahead and close up this drawer. And this is also gonna be a space where I can set up my laptop. So it's not just gonna be for makeup. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put a mirror in the back there or not. I kind of like just leaving it really simple. I love these videos where it's just casual, just hanging out with you guys and just, you know, doing a little bit of decor or styling, plant styling or organizing. And doesn't it feel good to get organized? Like even if it's a small space, like doing this type of micro organizing where you're just doing a box in a cupboard or a drawer, you know, just like one little bite-sized chunk at a time, you just feel so much lighter when you get a space cleared out or organized where you don't have like all this stuff like bogging you down, you know, and it, it opens up space in your life for the, the things that you really want to do. That's the way I've always looked at minimalism, for example, is you use it as a tool, like just like organizing, you use it as a tool to be able to open up space in your life for the things that you really want to spend your time doing or that you really want to spend your resources on, you know, time, energy, money. It lightens the load and opens up space in your life, you know, so you can breathe and it just feels, it just feels really good. Good, very light and I, I love knowing that there's not like clutter hiding behind you know cupboard doors or you know a, a cabinet or a drawer or something um, I mean I, I have more areas to work on believe me <laughs> believe me there are some other cupboards I need to get after and probably my closet um, but anyway I always have fun making these videos with you guys and I love you I hope you have a really good week and I have more videos on the way so I will see you in the next one bye guys Look at you, look at how dainty and lovely you're looking. And then you with your little round leaves. Yes, oh, and the little tiny round leaves. Adorable, cute. Everyone is looking very cute, including you guys. <laughs> All right, I love you guys, bye.